Hello everyone, once again, uh, we are here at 1.30 Pacific Standard Time for my Facebook Live. My name is Mark Stark, and today we are covering the fourth foundational topic. Um, and, and I have to tell you, what makes this really important is uh, we completed kind of that, that first must foundation. We covered database management, uh, your DRC tied to your daily routine, marketing, okay, which was broken up into client and business growth. And today we're going to cover process and systems. Now, um, to do this, I, I wanted to first go over uh, two types of processes and systems. And hopefully, if you've been uh, attending each of these uh, so far, this will be the fourth uh, session. What's great about this is you'll start seeing the interaction and the ties that each of these categories have together. Because I will tell you this, if this is all working, it's not working separately, it's working together and all ties together. So you'll see how, or hopefully you'll see how more and more of this ties together. All right, so let's jump in. Let's talk about first the types of systems and processes. And I break it up into two categories. One is administrative and operational. Okay, the basics. How am I administrating my business and how am I operating my business? All right, why do I really need, you know, Mark, I run a small brokerage. I run, I'm either an individual or maybe I have a small team, but you know what? I'm not doing a zillion transactions a year. Why do I need processes and systems? Well, let me tell you why. Uh, first, it keeps you and your team better organized. I don't care if you're doing seven deals a year total, all right? Less than one transaction a month, I'm telling you being better organized is a win. And it will increase the amount of business that you can do. So if you want to go, in my example, from seven to 14, the more organized you are, Okay. the more you have the best chance to increase that business in a way that won't stress you out. All right. Secondly, when you have processes and systems, you can establish efficiencies. You can establish ways to speed up what you're able to do so you can do more. And you'll love this. You not only can speed up, but it will be more accurate. When you have processes and systems, you simply make less mistakes. So if you're tired of doing things again and again and again, and because, oh, made a mistake, or someone who's working with you made an error, I promise you, processes and systems for everything matter. Now, keep this in mind. You will never stop tweaking or establishing new processes and systems. As the world changes, as business changes, as new opportunities arise, you're able to tweak your systems and processes. That's a never ending process. So never get to a point where you just say, okay, I've got them all set up. You're never going to get there. You'll always tweak to make it better. You'll start focusing on a new area to grow your business that will demand another process or another system. Now, remember, Systems and processes should be touching everything. I mean, I've said this before. You know what? What's your process when you take a listing? What's your process when that listing sells? What's your process when it closes? What's, that, what's your process when it makes, uh, when you make a sale? What's your process when you do an open house? I could go on and on and on. You should have a process and system for everything. And it doesn't have to be this super long, oh my God, I'm making 22 pages for every process. Wrong. Really, you could have a process that's four items, five items. That will grow naturally over time. But I need a leap of faith here. Processes and systems are a must. All right. I said there were two. So we started with administrative and operational. The next is leveraging up your business and success. See, this is the process and the system that gets skipped all the time. If you remember, this ties right into marketing. 
Well, now to make sure that you can maximize the marketing efforts, what is your marketing, in that example, process, okay, to leverage up your business? So on every listing you're taking, you need the process. Mark, this is what I believe will give me the highest percentage of increasing my business. So when I take a listing, I do these seven items. Now, that's not the operational and administrative side of it, Mark. That is the drum up more business, grow my business side of that. Oh, I love it. Okay, so you have a process for that and you understand there's administrative and op operational and then there's gather more business, increase my business, grow my business side of these processes and sit systems. Now, let's talk a little bit about... Um, why, I mean, what is the uh, uh, aspect of leveraging up? Let me break that down a little bit, okay? Establishing your personal brand. If you're looking to not only take, certainly the huge support of the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services brand is there to help you. And they have their own consistency behind the scenes and in front of the world of how they drive their branding. But what about your branding? What about your personal focus? Without a system or a process of how you strategically are trying to draw your brand into an area, a neighborhood, whatever the case may be is, you know what? You're going to be a whole lot less effective without that, All right? You certainly can grow your presence, okay, in a particular marketplace if you do this. It attracts new clients. And here's the big thing. Not only can it attract new clients, but I promise you, if you have process and systems for this, you won't have clients fall through the cracks. So how many times have you gotten a potential inquiry? Okay, we won't call it a lead, but a potential inquiry, but you don't have a system and process for how that inquiry is dealt with. So guess what? It goes off into the wind and you lose that opportunity. The sad thing is you don't realize that that was a $26,000 opportunity that just went away. See, that's the frustrating part that if you're, you're saying in my career, I want to generate more income, I want to do more business, all right? Well, then if that's true, you cannot do that without specific processes and systems. And again, don't have to, you don't have to worry about them being incredibly elaborate. Start them off slow and small. And guess what? As I've always said, less is more. And you'll add things to the process when you deem them necessary. All right. And last but not least, I don't want this to get missed, that when you have a process and a system specifically for growing business, but this could work in an administrative uh, way as well, you keep important items top of mind. Okay. Be it that it's an assistant that you have or yourself, every time you see it, it rings true to yourself. Yeah, that's important. Yes, that's important. Yes, that's important. That's why I have it on this list. And it stays top of mind. So you're less apt to not forget to know, I not only have to have the consistent communication plan that I'm putting out there in that example for marketing, but I've got to have the system and the process to stay up with it and follow up on what I'm doing. You know, you're out there, let's say, visiting for sale by owners. Well, what's your process? okay, to follow up on those for sale by owners so that your time that was well spent is maximized, okay, with the success and growth of your business. Now, of course, I think this one is obvious, but I want to talk a little bit about consistency. You know, consistency is a powerful, powerful tool. The sad part of it is if you skip consistency, um, as much as it can help you, it can hurt you. Even if you don't know it's happening, I'm telling you, it's damaging you when you're not consistent, all right? When you're consistent, you can locate and minimize errors and workflow issues. So if there is something that continually comes up, and if you're just doing it heck and peck and you're not, you don't have a system or a process that is a consistent way of doing things, when it happens, hopefully the second time you're thinking about it, and by the third time you're like going, look, what do I need to do in my process, in my system, so this doesn't happen anymore? I can't change the world, but I can certainly change myself. All right, and I'm going to change what I'm doing so this doesn't happen to me any longer. All right, because in that example, it doesn't taste good. That's a problem. That's a issue within your business, and you're doing your best to stop it. That consistency, okay, will help you uh, catch that and, and, and see it. And then... 
It affords you, when you're consistent, this one is so important, it affords you the ability to measure and know, are things working or are they not working? Okay, am I going to do that more or not? If you're not consistent, you really don't know if something's working. You know, I, I, I hear people sometimes tell me, well, I tried that once or twice and it didn't work for me. All right, well, you know what? The reality of it is, is you've got to give a long commitment. We've talked about that, a longer commitment. And then watch it. And over time, because you're consistent, 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 you can see that, you know what? This isn't working. And I am spending those dollars. Or it's working, but not anywhere near where it could. I could spend those dollars someplace else and my time someplace else, okay, to get a higher return. You give, it affords you, consistency, consistency affords you the ability to measure that. And last but not least, it establishes important business reminders. Again, as you're doing this, it lets you know, you know what? That's a powerful piece that I never can forget. And I certainly never want to stop doing my business. Look, we're people, we get busy. And before we know it, if we don't have a process and systems, we skip steps. We miss things. And when we miss things, we don't realize that one time was the one time it was going to work. It's like making that extra call. It's amazing. You know, you make your calls, you do what you got to do, and then you make one more call. You weren't going to do it, but then you did it. And guess what? That's the one you took a listing. That's the one you got a million dollar buyer from. And you don't realize that happens more than you want to believe. It's, it's there, the opportunity's there, and you need to be consistent. Last, but certainly not least topic on this is training. Why have processes and systems? First of all, what a phenomenal way to help you train a new assistant a new team associate. When you have processes and systems, okay, now you have written material that you can give somebody to say, this is how I do it. This is my process and system. Heck, maybe they'll come up with some ways to make your process and system better. That's beautiful. But guess what? That would have never happened without that initial process and system being delivered. You know, people don't realize that when you start with a template of something, it, it can be much easier to say, I'm going to make this better. I'm going to make this even more efficient, more effective. But guess what? It started with that initial. When you give somebody that initial process, that initial system that works for you, what a great opportunity you give that individual to even make it better. And you can work on that as a team. All right. Processes and systems give you a leg up in the interviewing process when you're hiring somebody. When you have a processes and system already established, you can give that material to a person you're hiring and saying, here, you know what? We're going to go over this tomorrow at the interview. I want you to read this through. I want you to go through any of the questions that you have because I'm going to have questions on the material too. And I wanted to give it to you in advance. What a great opportunity. One, did someone really spend enough time on the material? Did they write all their questions out? How interested are they in the position? Did they just walk from it because I didn't want to do this work? I'm not going to go through this stuff now. Great to know up front instead of after the fact. And last but not least, from a standpoint of training, it dramatically reduces the amount of your personal time that you need to spend training somebody, especially if someone, let's say, is moving out of state or you let them go or they leave, whatever the case may be is, and you've got to start over and train someone again, guess what? You have all the material right there. It makes it so much easier for you to now train that person up because guess what? 80% of it is written all there. And I'll tell you nowadays, what a great idea it would be to add some video, not only in writing of what your expectations are, but add some video to those processes and systems. So not only can I read it, okay? And of course I see it there with your with your numbered of what your expectations are. I get all that. But now I get the feel of it through a live video, maybe two minutes, five minutes, whatever it is. This is what I'm really expecting as it comes to this category or whatever the case may be. Look, guys, I placed processes and systems in the bottom foundation of your business. In fact, I believe these four that I've initially covered should be in the foundation of any business, be it real estate or widgets. If you do not have these four in the foundation, not only are you leaving thousands and thousands of dollars on the table, 
but you will make mistakes, you will waste time, and you will be so less efficient than when you put these foundational items in there. And certainly, processes and systems are a must. I hope everybody has a great week. As always, if you like the information, show that. Follow, share the information. I would appreciate that to anyone that you felt would find value in it. And last but not least, next week, okay, we're on number five. Now, this is moving above the foundation. So the next level, and we're going to cover administrative support and team management, administrative support and team management. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.